like a legend, the legend of Stanley Jordan. And it was this. Street musician discovered on the streets, uh, appears on The Tonight Show, makes a, an album that becomes a number one bestseller, and then goes on to claim the music world. Those facts are sort of true, if a little out of order, but what wasn't included in the legend I discovered later were things like Princeton, 81, and basically you've been a serious musician uh, since uh, childhood. Yeah. Why the street musician aspect, though? Well, that was something that I did at a particular time in my career. I was starting to get my career off the ground in New York. Everyone had told me, that's the place to go. That's the best music town. And I found that it was difficult to get the exposure I wanted in the clubs. Even getting an audition was tough, because I'd have to wait in line. People would be crossing my name off the list and all that. So finally, I said, wait a minute. There's got to be a better way. And I met some street musicians, and they said, you know, if you come with us, we'll show you how you can get more exposure and actually make more money playing in the street. A virtuoso playing on the street corner is going to get a lot of attention. How much money did you make on the street corner? Well, at first it wasn't a whole lot, but after a while I had finished my first album, which I did on my own label in 82. And once I had my album out there, I could sell that. And then, on the street? Yeah, and so that helped a lot. Yeah, you should have had regularly scheduled performances. <laughs> now, it, what has made you famous among other, your virtuosity, but also your technique, which is, is, is totally original? Could you describe, well, describe yeah. it before you, you show me? Sure. Okay. Normally, um, one would play a guitar by, say, strumming. Yes. Or by finger picking. But what, do what I do, well, I do, I just did. <laughs> but most of the time, what I do is I play it sort of like a piano. I can use one hand, for example. Uh, Or I can use the other hand. Or I can use the two hands independently. Thinking of it as brilliant, executing it must be really difficult. Do people just watch your fingers when you play, or, or do they listen? Well, a lot of times I'm watching my fingers, so I don't really notice where they're looking. You know, sometimes I find that it messes me up to look at my fingers, because I can only look at one hand, and so while I'm looking at this hand, the other hand will be off making a mistake. <laughs> so then I'm over here, and then this one is blowing it. Why don't we just listen to okay. Stanley Jordan?
Well, obviously, there are two people mm -hmm. sitting here, but I swear only one of us was playing a guitar. Stanley Jordan, that was wonderful. I only mm -hmm. wish I'd discovered you before. Mm -hmm. Thank you. We'll be back after this.